Hi everybody, I'm Nina Taylor and here is your Gospel News. Well, the Gospel Music Association, GMA, announced and awarded Ty Scott Records with the Lifetime Achievement Award during the 47th Annual GMA Dove Awards. That took place back on Tuesday, October 11th at Lipscomb University's Allen Arena in Nashville, Tennessee. The Indianapolis-based firm is the oldest existing black gospel music music label in the USA and it's currently celebrating 40 years of operation. It was founded by the dentist Leonard S. Scott and his nephew Craig Tyson. Over the years Ty Scott has introduced the world to gospel superstars such as John P. Key, Dietrich Haddon, Vashon Mitchell, and Anthony Brown and Group Therapy. They all kicked off their careers at Ty Scott Records. You know, previous winners include the Gospel Music Workshop of America and the song How Great Thou Art and the Gaither Organization Group of Companies. Founder Dr. Leonard S. Scott and his son Bryant Scott were on hand to accept the award. Our congratulations to Ty Scott Records. From Mount Vernon, Virginia, George Washington's Mount Vernon home opened a groundbreaking exhibition that highlights new research into experiences of enslaved people who lived and worked at the estate of George Washington. Live bound together. Slavery at George Washington's Mansion in Mount Vernon, Virginia presents personal stories of these men, women, and children while also exploring Washington's growing opposition to slavery. This 4,400 square foot exhibition stretches throughout all seven galleries of the Donald W. Reynolds Museum using household furnishings, artworks, archaeological discoveries, um, interactive displays and exhibitions they demonstrate how closely intertwined the lives of the Washingtons and the enslaved people. More than 300 featured artifacts from tools that were used in the field and some uh, adornments. They appear alongside historic documents and records providing insights into the enslaved people's daily lives. You know gospel music's origins uh, start in slavery here in the United States and if you don't believe me you know there are songs that were used in everyday life by African slaves singing was a tradition bought from Africa by the first slaves sometimes their songs were called spirituals here's just a partial list of some of the spirituals that you might be familiar with and may be used in congregation still today Harriet Tubman and other slaves used songs as a strategy to communicate with slaves for their struggle struggle for freedom. You know, Steal Away, the song Steal Away, this song communicated that a person was thinking about escaping. Sweet Chariot, if a slave heard this song, they knew that they had to get ready to escape because a band of angels were coming to take them to freedom. Follow the Drinking Gourd, this song suggests escaping uh, in the spring as the days got longer. It also refers to quals which start calling each other in April. And of course, the famous song, Wade in the Water. I heard that last Sunday. Tubman used Wade in the Water to tell the slaves to get into the water, avoiding being seen, and make it through. This is an example of a map song where directions are coded into the lyrics. Well, that's your gospel news for this week. I'm Nina Taylor. Let's get back to more great gospel music on Gospel in the Streets.